here my name's Amanda and if you are returning lovely to have you back if you are new make sure to hit that subscribe button just plugging myself there for this video I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on this palette right here this is the Muse palette by Vive Makeup I purchased this on Cult Beauty on Black Friday we'll put the price down below of how much I actually paid for it and how much it retails for so let's get into the video there's so many beautiful tones in here there's like the dark colors and then the light colors and then also the shimmers I have a cup of tea and my favourite cup which says follow your dreams. My mum actually got me this and it's like my favourite mug. It's a cup of tea, complete felt, some angel slices. I'm going to start off my eyes today because I'm going to use dark colour. Start by using this shade right here, this is called Belle. It's like a brown. First impressions for pigment, it is super pigmented. I don't even need a base with that, I find that Sometimes if I add a base, it changes the actual colour of the eyeshadow and I wanted to really see the eyeshadows for what they were. So on this occasion, not using a base. When there's hardly any product on the brush, I'm then just going to blend it up to my brow bone. Drag it out towards the end of my eye. And so far, considering how dark this shade is for like a transition shade that I'm using it for, I've actually had no fallout, so that's very rare when you're using like darker shadows, it's like fallout is inevitable, but on this occasion, it's actually not. I want to take this shade right here, this is Sauce, almost a chocolate brown, I've just dropped it on the floor. If you look closely, it's actually got red and orange undertones and I think on camera it's looking a little bit more orange. Take my 231 Lux Petite crease brush on the corner of my crease so that shade is an absolutely gorgeous shade that is a shade that I would probably use day to day So as you can see my eyes are looking a bit one dimensional at the moment so what I'm going to do to add some tone to the look is I'm going to take this shade right here which is Merlot 235 from So Eva it's an angled fluffy brush as you can see and then what I'm going to do is just take this as I would a liquid eyeliner and just start flicking it out towards the end and then pushing that colour upwards and then I'm just going to repeat this on the other eye use as many colours as possible in this look so what I'm going to do next is take this shade here which is velvet this is just a tiny brush and um, it's a more concentrated brush so I can really I can really focus it on the area that I need to and I'm just going to pop this on the outer corner of my eye and notice how I'm not taking it too high I'm just leaving it on this on the edge I find that using a more precise brush like this enables you to place the colour on exactly where you want it to with minimal effort. take a brush with nothing on it like I usually will and then just try and blend some of the colours together. I think I'd be doing this palette a disservice if I didn't use any of the shimmer shades as it's testing review video. So what I'm going to do is cut, just do like a half sort of cut crease and then I'm going to add one of the shimmer colours on top to see how they perform. So to cut my crease I'm going to use the NYX HD Studio Photogenic. This is like I've been using this non-stop. I've been trying to get through some of my makeup without wasting it. So if I've been loving it, I'm just going to keep using it. I'm going to use a P. Louise 7072 What A Treat My Base brush. And then I'm just going to cut half the crease. Yeah, I'm stopping towards the end because I don't actually want to interfere with them colours that I just put on before. As I've got a really nice blend of them, I don't really want to 
mess that up. Anybody actually even wear a cut crease anymore? I've never been a full cut crease kind of gal. Like I've always done like a a half one as I feel like it suits suits my eye shape more. I think. to do is take regal which is this shade right here it's a deep glittery purple and this is such a lovely shimmer shade i'm going to just take my ring finger as usual and then i'm just going to tap over oh my god that's so nice oh my god use a brush as well to tap this on to see how that works as well if you like to dip your brush in setting spray that's completely fine as well oh my word miss genevieve of vive muse we've killed it look how stunning they are I literally love how nice everything blends into each other. So what I'm going to do next is line my eyes. I'm not actually going to use a liquid eyeliner. I'm just going to use a black shadow. This is just a matte shadow in the shade Carbon. I like to have a black before I do my eyelashes. I don't want to take away from the shadow. I'm just going to put it in in a corner because I actually find that when I put eyelashes on, unless they're individuals without a sort of like line on my lash line they just look bizarre on me i always like to do my makeup in such a weird order so once i've done the majority of my eyes i like to actually just leave them for a little bit and then do my face next is my foundation my estee double wear foundation in the shade 3w1 tawny i've used this many times i'm actually trying to get through some of my foundations before i purchase new ones so that is the reason i'll be using that one today it's a great foundation i just want to get through some of my products as I've gone quite heavy on the eyes so far, I'm just going to try and keep my face makeup to a minimum. I take a little concealer buffer from Zoeva, and then this is the part that I love doing, is blending it so that the eyeshadow, this is where I like to do my face straight after, so I like that like sort of sharpish line. Not too sharp, but I find that using a concealer buffer enables you to get that line tap it right in i'm going to set that concealer using the morphe bake and set it says it bakes and sets makeup for a shine free finish selfie approved real techniques beauty sponge beauty sponge beauty blender and just pop this underneath my eyes i'll do a baking in a bit but because i haven't actually done my under eye eyeshadow i'm just gonna dust that over so it doesn't crease it's confusing the way i'm back and forth with the eyes and the face that is just the way i like to do things for eyeliner i'm going to take peaches makeup so peaches and cream makeup in the shade war paint eyeliner and it's a deep like red burgundy i mean that was the vibe i was actually going for so Really nice. So stunning. Love that. More like little dots, pencil brush, PCO7, peaches of cream, and then I'm gonna take the shade Love. It's like a pinky shade. Like me getting my money's worth. Pop this underneath my eyes just to finish the eye look up. I'm just gonna quickly do my eyebrows with my makeup obsession eyebrow pencil. So to finish the eyes, I'm going to use mascara and lashes. For mascara, I'm going to take my Power Lash Volume Mascara from Revolution. Not loads, just a little bit. Take my time on my bottom lashes as I like them to really stand out. 
both for lashes I'm going to use the Dainty Prima Lash. I actually opened these the other day when I tried to do a look that went wrong. Duo lash glue to just pop these on really quickly. So lashes are on. I've just had a fight with the lash glue. When I say fight, I mean an actual full blown fight with the lash glue. Um, so I'm hoping that these eyelashes actually stay on because they weren't playing. They weren't playing ball today. I'm gonna warm up my cheeks and my the rest of my face using Mac Give Me Sun. This is just a bronzer, one of the most famous bronzers that they do actually. And I'm gonna use this instead of using a blush today because I've gone quite heavy on the eyes. I'm just gonna. I'm just going to use this bronzer and sort of tap it in at the places where I would usually do my blush. I didn't fully finish baking my face before, I'm just going to do my forehead underneath my where I've just put bronzer and on my nose and on my chin. Leave it for a minute and then, then just the powder off. Keep my lips neutral and use the MAC Spice Lip Liner to complete this look. My lips are looking a little bit like ready toned, I don't know why. So I'm going to use this MAC lipstick in the shade Leave Me Breathless. This is just going to counteract some of that colour. I'm going to go sort my hair out and then I'll come back and talk to you about this whole look. So this is the final look. I really enjoyed this palette. I thought that all the shades that I used were so nice. They were really pigmented, easy to blend out. Probably one of the best palettes I've used this year and I've used quite a few. So I give the Vive team a massive like round of applause for this palette because it exceeded my expectations. If you enjoyed this video make sure to like and also subscribe down below and hopefully I will see you all in my next video.